Welcome to Unfold Data Science friends. This is Aman here and I am a data scientist. In this video, I am going to take an example of mechanical engineering that area and explain you what are the different data science or analytics use cases, machine learning use cases that can be done or that can be used on this industry. Okay. I am going to take one example and then you can relate with your specific mechanical industry you are working on. The reason for this video guys, I had created a video on use cases and then people started requesting for specific videos on industries. Okay. I have started getting requests for pharma, for telco, for manufacturing and different different industries. Okay. In this video, let's take one manufacturer or one mechanical engineering company. So what is a mechanical engineering company guys? Machines, right? Any organization that makes machines that me and you use, right? That becomes a mechanical engineering company closely related with manufacturing also right i will take one example and we will try to think through what all can be done on different business areas okay let's take an example of one bike guys okay let's take an example of most selling bike in india hero so suppose hero is manufacturing bikes and selling in indian markets okay what will be the major three or four steps in that? Let us try to understand very, very clearly. Step one will be getting the raw materials. Okay. Raw materials means everything that you see in a hero bike is not made by hero. For example, lights or indicators or wires. It is not necessary that all these things are made by hero. Hero will take it from some vendor and assemble it in the bike. Okay. One area will be getting the raw materials okay that is one area second area is manufacturing manufacturing the bikes the actual work third area is sending it to the market how hero is sending its bike to market through some dealers through some suppliers that is the area number three and area number four is once the bike is there in the market then what all can be done we will try to understand all these one by one first come here guys while taking the raw materials from people or companies what kind of analysis we can do we can do an analysis of which of my suppliers are good and which are not good that becomes a classification problem or we can do a segmentation here good dealers average de uh, good suppliers average suppliers poor suppliers or we can do a simple rfm scoring or we can do a normal scoring based on matrices right so what is their historical record did they supply on right time or uh, did they uh, you know in payment was there some problem how many times they delayed the supply all these can be different different matrices we can do various types of analysis ranging from classification to bucketing to scoring to many things only in this area okay now come to area number two manufacturing in manufacturing guys Machines are the thing which, you know, human will interact. How can you improve human experience? Let's say you are driving a hero bike, the new bike, and you have driven for like 25,000 kilometers and then a warning comes saying 25,000 kilometer is driven and your indicator is used, let's say, n number of times. Just an example. So there can be an issue with the indicator. Please get it checked. Just an example I'm giving, hypothetical situation. What I'm trying to give here is early warning. Why I'm taking 25,000 kilometers and why I'm taking indicator blink those many number of times only. Because I have learned from the historical data that on these number of kilometers and this much use of indicator, indicator bulb might have some issues that I have learned from the historical data. Whenever the bike comes for the servicing, I take all that data, I create a model and I learn this is the pattern. This is called early warning system. Similarly, a part of the bike might not work good after 50,000 km. Can we give an early failure detection? All these things will be the part of manufacturing process, right? Call it hardware or call it software. All these things, you know, a system which can make users life easy while manufacturing the product, while manufacturing the machine. Any machine you can take as an example, guys. Whichever you use in day-to-day -day life, okay? I am giving example of a bike. So how you can improve user experience, you have to think. That is part two, guys. 
part three is i am talking about sending the bikes to market at the moment i say sending the bikes to market supply chain optimization will come in that only route optimization will come your cost optimization will come your inventory optimization will come your dealer clustering knowing which dealers are good which are average which are poor which dealer is giving me maximum profit which dealer is supposed to give me maximum profit which dealer is a long term dealer which dealer is my top dealers some kind of dealer analysis some kind of inventory and supply chain analysis and some kind of demand forecasting all these things can be done in this area so demand can be more in some few months of the year it can be little less in few months of the year based on the historical data we learn the pattern and we forecast making heroes life easy right by doing some demand forecasting we have covered three areas guys once the bike is in the market right i want to know how the users are talking about it what is the best way go to facebook there are many pages go to uh, twitter go to insta go to different social media platforms take your keyword of the bike and search what all people are talking somebody is talking bad or good some kind of sentiment analysis so is there some part of the bike which is giving problem in the new version people will talk about that part more some kind of lstm modeling some kind of sequence based modeling is there some part people are happy about sequence modeling normal nlp some uh, many there is no no end to it right all these things can be done once the bike is in the market you want to understand the behavior pattern feedback all these things so guys i have just touched a small area of this okay few use cases here few here few part 3 few part 4 okay i'm just trying to give you a way of thinking what did i do guys first step i understood the business business means acquiring raw material manufacturing sending it to the market understanding the feedback this is the business what you have to do in any mechanical engineering area you are working on understand business then relate your machine learning deep learning or data science knowledge to what all can be done in all these business areas if you start thinking like this right then be it a mechanical or any other sector you will be able to find out what can be done if you do little research on internet you will able, you will be able to find out what can be done there can be many things guys i have just spoken few things here so the idea of this video was to give you again a way of thinking okay give me a thumbs up if you like this video guys i will see you all in the next video with another interesting topic till then please subscribe to the channel if you have not done yet i'll see you all in the next video wherever you are stay safe and take care